in the box we've been ordering a few things and uh, just figured I'd do a you know a little what's in the box we hadn't done one of those in a little while so let's see what all we've got ordered and uh, let's find out what's in the box all right here we go all right so first thing we got <coughs> I'm still sick is a NRG steering wheel my son wanted a new one for his IS 300 so we went ahead and got one. Um, he wanted one that, so he's got gloves now. He wanted one that would kind of coincide with the gloves and the one that he has, I think it cracked or something, the Galaxy one he had. They wanted one that had like the line on it so you can see where center should be. It's a suede leathers kind of deal. And he wanted something that's just not too, crazy but that's the new nrg steering wheel he got so that's the first thing we got that's the first thing of what's in the box super nice super quality if you've ever bought anything from nrg you know the quality's there um yeah so that's the first thing we got i'm not gonna put a tire net back on I'll just leave it like that because he's gonna be putting it on all right, so the second thing, I ordered it at the same time, and we do have wholesale accounts now, so if you wanna you know, order something through us or buy something from us and maybe save a few bucks, we do have accounts now to where I can wholesale, or, well, not wholesale, I, I can wholesale it, but I gotta make a few bucks, you know. We're gonna order parts and drop ship and everything now. I don't have a knife in my pocket. Come on, man. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so, went ahead. I'm wholesaling the, the blocks, um, uh, distribution blocks, the vacuum blocks. And I had black ones, and I wanted to stock the silver one because I do have those listed on our website. No, on eBay. And I, I probably will eventually put these on our website. They may already be on there. I can't remember. But I wanted a silver one because I didn't have one in stock. So I went ahead and got a silver one. So that way, there's some stuff that I don't have to drop ship. I can just throw it right in the pack and get it in the mail and get it on the way to you. Um, even though if I do drop ship it, if it's a bigger item, it, it wouldn't take any longer than you know if I have it sitting here on the shelf myself. And this is something, I've been looking at these. Deechworks is a brand that Believe it or not, I've never used Deech Works. It's a brand that's been around for a while, but I had some that you know I was used to using. And I noticed that Deech Works actually has the fuel pumps on some of the bigger fuel pumps, like the, I think it's the Warburg 450. So the diameter of the fuel pump, as it goes down, it gets bigger. And so it doesn't fit in a lot of applications. You end up having to to modify, I think we actually did that on the IS300. Well, <clears throat> on the Deech Works, it doesn't do that. It's the same diameter, the whole size of it. So, and the price is super fair. In fact, I think it was cheaper than some of the other brands. But I went ahead and got the Deech Works. This is a 400, so I think it's four, 425 liters per hour or something like that, I guess it is. Uh, we do have those on our website and we have what I have listed on the website is just the uh, universal ones, but I do have um, access to car specific ones. So if you want one for a 240 uh, or an IS300, I, I can get those. Um, there's just so many different numbers. I haven't had a chance to go through and list each car individual, um, but I do have the universal ones there. And if you do want to uh, buy one of those, I, just message me first or even on eBay or message me directly and I can get you car specific I can get you a price on that if you want to order these uh, through us 
And uh, again, we've got them listed on eBay. I, I have a few that are car specific on eBay, but on our website, I know we do have these listed as the universal ones, um, but I can get the car specific ones. So I'm giving Deech Works a try. A lot of people promote Deech Works and honestly, the pricing's not that bad. Uh, it is extremely competitive. I mean, you having it wholesale, I actually think I could probably get it cheaper, um, Deech Works versus a lot of other brands from the wholesale account I have. So I went ahead and opted to get the 400. And if we don't sell this particular kit, the universal one, I do want the pump. I think we're gonna at least have one, maybe two of the Warbur, or uh, Warbur, the uh, Deech Works 400s go into the S13 build. So I think this is the fuel pump gonna, I'm gonna run with. If I can get the radium in tank piece, I think I'm going to try to run at least two of these, maybe three, because they, uh, I think Radium just released a triple hanger. So if they do that triple hanger and it'll fit in the S13, I'm probably going to run some of these jewels. So um, that's two of the things we got. The blocks, um, vacuum block, and the Deech Works 400. Um, I can't remember exactly. I think it's like 425. I think the 400, the, so the... The Deech Works, the DW400 is 425, the 100 is like 165, the 200 is like 255. So the model number, like the DW200, it's actually not 200 liter per hour. It's like, the, that's the, two, the 255. So even though it's a 400, it, it's a 425 flow rate, I think. Um, so yeah, just keep kind of keep that in mind too. The DW400 is more flow rate and the 300 is more it's like a three something i forget all the numbers but they're not exactly 400 and 300 and 200 and 100 they're actually more liters per hour or whatever um so whatever your application is just message me or i can help you sit down and figure out you know your fuel requ requirements um we do have um quite a bit of fittings and, and hoses and stuff in stock yeah so that's the dish works Okay, so you may or may not know, we are a dealer for Finish Line Factory. You've probably seen them advertising for dealers on Facebook or whatever. Uh, Instagram, I think they advertise there. But we gave it a shot. We bought in with those guys and zero complaints. We bought some boots, tried some different sizes here. Um, they got all kinds of just, you know, if you're going to get wide range of options here you know if you're building a, something and you just come into you know needing a three by two inch coupling they've got some you know some different sizes here i have a lot of standard size ones as well but i, I wanted to try to get some you know variety of stock i have the ptfe i went ahead and got a quite a bit of hose for that so if we don't sell this, by the time we get to the S13, we will do our fuel lines out of this. See what I'm doing here? I'm buying inventory based around the car we're building. If it sells in the meantime, that's okay. We'll replenish it. And if it doesn't, then we'll just use it on our build. Um, but that's like 20 feet of, I think it's 8 AN for our fuel lines. And I haven't opened this. But this is the, the inline filter. And then I went ahead and bought, that's the case of it. And I went ahead and bought the 100 micron actual filter that goes inside the, the filter housing. And we went ahead and got tons of PTFE fittings. So that way everything, I think this order was pretty much all the 6 a.m. or 8 a.m. 8 a.m. So that way we can build our fuel line completely out if but if somebody orders it You know, hey, we've got it in stock Not a big deal. I went ahead and got a couple more actual couplings for the boots the turbo I got the metal I have some header wrap, but I went ahead and got the metal zip ties for that so that way if you're doing the the header wrap instead of having the plastic zip ties something holding the ends you know strapping it down the plastic ones will they'll probably melt or you know become brittle or whatever so i bought 
a little bundle of the metal ones in case we you know decide to wrap some exhaust or something um, but I've got this kind of thing in stock lots of fittings these are all 8 ends 8 a in and I've got everything from straights um, I've got I think this one's a <coughs> 180 degree I've got 120 degree you know if, you, if you've got a fuel line set up you don't know what you're gonna run into until you start running it you never know what you need these are 90s I got four of those I went ahead and got the 45s so I've got four 45s 90s 180s uh, the straight couplings so I built pretty much what I thought I might need in an 8 a.m. for the fuel setup on the it might be still a little small for the S13 if we decide to you know build a motor and go in there but we can always change that later but I think 8 a.m. should be sufficient with where we're going on the 1JZ in it right now um, so we got that more stuff to stock so if you need any of these fittings or any of that stuff I think I have most all of these listed on our website the um, PTFE stuff I, I think I may have most of the fittings of just your standard fittings not like the plugs and, and some of that stuff but just the regular fittings PTFE I think I got push lock fittings listed and everything on there I've worked on it quite a bit through the last week um, but yeah if you want to look at that it's uh, chestermotorsports.com www.chestermotorsports.com um, whatever Chester Motorsports it's not Spotify it's Shopify yeah so Chester Motorsports at shop on Shopify we have a page there uh, we're on eBay uh, Chester Enterprises I think we're on, we're on eBay Chester Motorsports Chester Enterprises wherever you want to look that stuff up and we got more stuff so all right hang tight all right we've run spec clutch for years that's a brand i ran back in the day i'm gonna have to get enough and so you know you get a brand that that works and you tend to stick with it because you just you know it works you know so not that we're stuck in our ways we just know what works so again there's another spec clutch purchase for us and how spec does it they just vacuum seal everything together all in one packaging you know inside the box so everything's right there that you need it even comes with some directions and and a nice sticker it's a little jumbled up but you got your spec clutch sticker and this is a stage three plus and this is for the s13 yeah so this will be for the s13 this is one of the things you know when i said the other day if you watch the video that we had ordered some parts this is another one of the parts for the s13 build so we got the CD Trans and the 1JZ motor and then a spec stage 3 plus clutch going in that dude so that should be sufficient for that stock engine. Um, it's not going to be stock trim, we are going to turn it up so um, we will make some power in, in that motor but we're not going to go above a reasonable horsepower 5 or something maybe i don't even know if we'll go that high we may just make it three or four and just you know enjoy the car for a while as we're you know just getting used to that chassis so i um, we may keep it at 300 out I, I don't know i'm I, i'm a little gun shy of turning them up because they keep blowing up so there's a spec clutch for the s13 and i think we got one more thing so this is a used item and we've had tremendous luck off of eBay buying some stuff. So I found it local. I can't ever get time to go find meet the guy and all that. So I just decided I'd get it ordered. So the S13 is an automatic car. Well, if you're into the S chassis, you know 
that anything S chassis is, is expensive as crap. So I went ahead and found a used set of pedals. It's the clutch pedal and the brake pedal to do the manual swap on the S13. Got a pretty good deal on it. Um, seems to be in good shape. Everything's there. So yeah, that's the, the last thing that I've got. So now we've got the clutch pedals. And so once we finish doing the interior, we can go ahead and set the pedals and stuff in and start running wires and all that. But I've got the car outside, so we're gonna start on the interior at some point. Um, but yeah, I, I put it outside so we can open the doors better and get inside and sand it and not be stuck in here. And you know, it's nice weather outside. Not today, it's rainy. Um, but you know, maybe nice weather, we can get sand a little bit and, and try to get some of that uh, sound editing and stuff out. So once we get all that, get the interior painted and prepped and all that, we'll go ahead and put these boys in. And so now we have the manual uh, clutch and brake pedal for the S13. That was another missing piece to that puzzle. So, all right, here we go. All right, I try not to drag it out so much today. Um, I know I'm bad about once I start talking about, you know, the whole what's in the box stuff. I, I tend to drag it out and all that, and I know that. So um, I tried to speed the process up a little bit today. But hey, thanks for watching our videos. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Um, go to ChesterMotorsports.com if you want to do a little shopping. Check some of our inventory out. We do have a little bit of merch listed on there. Uh, and if you want to go to Chesser Enterprises on eBay, we've got quite a few things listed there. If you want to go check some of that stuff out or follow us on Instagram, Chesser Enterprises, Chesser Motorsports, Chesser Drifting. Um, same thing on uh, Facebook. If you want to follow us on any of that stuff, appreciate it. Thanks for watching our videos, guys. All right, here we go. I'm feeling high.